Hey guys, it's uh, John here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, it's episode two of Classic Car Shopping uh, with John. Well, it's virtual Classic Car Shopping. Um, if you haven't seen episode one, please go and watch episode one. That was September's edition. This is October's edition, just... Uh, it's the 31st of October 2022. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Spooky night. Um, Mrs. John Cuban is at work, and so we're going to do episode two. If you haven't seen the first episode, uh, it's virtual classic car shopping on the website Car and Classic, um, which recently had for sale a uh, Proton prototype um Stevens Sons Coupe or Stevens Coupe on the auctions. Uh, it sold for 10 grand. Uh, in the end, and I was bidding um, up to about five grand. Um, after that, I just couldn't justify it. So uh, what we'll be doing tonight is uh, filtering it down then through the categories, classic cars, um, advert type is for sale. We don't want anything for hire. Uh, and we're going to do a maximum price today of... £5,000. That's how much we've got to play with. That's more than normal. I normally do up to sort of two and a half, but let's uh, do five grand today. The country is uh, the UK, of course, and the region at the moment. Let's go to Lincolnshire, my homeland, see what there is. Um, these are all bits and pieces. Ah, the way that this is done has changed now. Right, let's have a look then. Uh, that Ford Escort, 1.4 Freedom. Bless it. It's been on this website for a while now. 395 quid. Um, we can have a look at it. It's terrible. Um, it needs a lot of love. Bless it. Um, let's have a look, flick through. Bumper needs some love here. Front needs some love. Um, there's a bit of rot there, isn't there? <laughs> there's a bit of rot there as well. Um, it's a perfect project for somebody if they fancy rescuing um, something that's not overly rare, I suppose. Um, 39,000 miles. Car has been sat for a few years. It needs a front passenger door glass as this was broken by vandals. Shame about that. Um, not for me. Let's have a look. What else have we got? A dealer. Another dealer. This Fiat Panda. It's been for sale for a long time. Uh, TR7 for £1,750. Excuse me. Um, oh, right. Okay. Uh, a bit rusty here as well, isn't it? Oh, very rusty. Very rusty. More rusty than a rusty thing. Um, okay. No, not for me. Uh, on the TR7. Oh, that looks interesting. A P4 100. This is for sale in Gainsborough, the same place that has the Triumph TR7. Again, well, I wonder where these have been pulled out from. They've been pulled out from somewhere, haven't they? Um, is that a bullet bullet hole in the door? <laughs> uh, proper Cagney and Lacey. Uh, not for me. Sorry, I'm going to close it. We're not messing about today. Um... Again, nothing is taking my fancy. This Opal Astra, meh. Five grand? No thanks. Uh, no, this 900i. Do I click on it? Yeah, let's click on it. Let's have a look. It's in Scunthorpe. Uh, F Reg. So what's that? 89? Yeah, 89. Um, Mm. I'm uninspired by this. Apart from the blue velour interior, let's have a look at this sill because that looks interesting. Uh, is that expanding foam? Is that expanding foam in the sill? Um, okay. Uh, anyone want to enlighten me in the comments as to why there would be expanding foam in this? Uh, right, page two. Um, bum, 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 bum. Daimler, 1997 V8 long wheelbase, top spec, Vandenpla. Now we're talking my language. Uh, Pre-production, this is in Lincoln. It's at a dealer, not overly keen at dealers. There's a little bit of uh, something on this sill here, isn't there? Um, it's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Absolute classic cars. Now, they had a... Citroen Saxo recently, and I was tempted by that. This is nice, actually. This is very nice. 
Lovely. Gorgeous. Okay. Three grand. Originally supplied to Jaguar Cars Limited. Vandenpla. All the mod cons. Everything in there. Lambs wool over mats. Wow. I... I don't understand why this is so cheap. What have we got? An exceptionally well specced. Presented well. Mm. Mechanically very good. Used as a wedding car. Averaged. 8,600 miles a year. 2,115,000 miles. That's a lot, isn't it? That's done a lot of miles. No, that can't have done that many miles, surely. Them seats are not 215,000 miles, are they? I'm going to keep that. We'll have a, have a look at that later. Uh, right, OK, yeah, blah, 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 trophy cars, no thank you. Uh, Volvo GLE Auto, seen this before, uh, a Illumina Green MGF 29,000 miles, how much? Trophy cars money, uh, this looks like it's in a garage, uh, classics auction group offering for sale as a buy it now, viewing by appointment, oh. Viewing by WhatsApp, prices are fixed. Oh, no, no, thank you. Uh, no, not interested in that old Mercedes. Um, 35 SE Mini, £4,500. I say what? Uh, this advert has been removed. Oh, okay. Well, it's there. Um, Right, that's Lincolnshire. I'm not overly keen on anything there apart from this Daimler, um, which I'm very surprised it's done 215,000 miles. I would be very surprised if that's right, um, unless it's been overhauled or restored. Uh, I can't see the index. Um, is the index on here, on the plate here no he's got the index covered for for i understand the reason why but it just makes it difficult um merits jaguar i might uh, give this guy a call uh right let's change it to cambridge here then this time five thousand pounds flipping heck Three thousand hundred and ninety pounds. A Rover seventy five V six Connoisseur SE automatic. Um, okay, strong money that. Strong money. If I'm honest with you, it better be good. Um, and it is looking good in this sort of lovely. Is it flame red? Not flame red. It's a lovely red. But I'm seeing some marks on the seats here. Uh, this is damaged. The driver's bolster. Uh, gonna go for 90,000 miles it's not it's not a four grand car i'm really sorry it's not i'm out um daimler project no thank you 23 grand these are getting bonkers money at the moment a audi tt this is my one to buy um i'm not just saying that because i've got one these are becoming sought after in a good spec and in good condition with low miles. What's the mileage on this? Um, if it's it's going to be, it's got to be something like sixty thousand miles. Uh, I would hope one hundred and twenty nine miles. I'm guessing that's one hundred and twenty nine thousand. Um, nah, too much, too much money. Sorry, Thorny Classic Cars. Uh, nice part of the world though, Thorny. Um, my neck of the woods. What else have we got? Uh, no, not interested in any of that. Oh, a maestro. Look at that. Three grand for a maestro. You just can't, can you? Let's have a look at this maestro. Again, Peter McClassic Cars at Thorny. Uh, he's a nice bloke over there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm not... I'm not a massive fan of the maestro. Okay, we had enough of that. Next. 
Uh, Vauxhall Victor Estate in March. Okay. Ah, sold. Okay, fair enough. Um, Toyota MR2. It's not it's not standard. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, we've got 50 shades of red here. So this wing doesn't match this door or this uh, panel here. I would suggest knowing Toyota MR2s like I know Toyota MR2s. It's had a new wing because they go rotten. Um, stupid wheels. Absolutely stupid. Uh, things that also aren't right. Should have some pinstriping and rumble strips down the side, which tells me that it's been painted. Um, terrible. Not for me. No, thank you. What was that in the back there? Oh, I thought that was... Oh, Audi TT. More of the TT, please. Um, oh, dear. Uh, no, thank you. Wrong gear knob. Uh, wrong stereo. Could have cleaned this, mate. Um, for your pictures. Uh, no, thank you. Not for how much was this? Five and a half grand. No. Um, okay. Let's have a look more at Cambridge Shear. Mini Mayfair convertible. Yeah, why not? Let's have a look. Cambridge 4995. I would not like to leave this out in the rain. Is This, this can't be standard. This can't be a standard thing, the convertible, right? This must be a, an aftermarket thing that someone's done. Unless I'm wrong. Flicking through quick. I'm not excited by old minis. Uh, Ford Anglia 100E. Now that's a nice looking thing. These photographs look old. These photographs look quite old. Uh, when are these photographs taken? Oh no, it needs some love, doesn't it? But four grand. Mm, no. Last one then. Last one for this video. We'll take a look at um, bam 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 Norfolk. Five grand still. Our budget. Um, these are all adverts for uh, auctions. A Rover 100. Two grand. Do you want to have a look? Let's have a look at this Rover. Nice. What's going on here, though? Original number plate by looks of things. Yeah, it's had some work, hasn't it? Had some work here. It's not original, is it? It's not. Which is a shame. Seats. Yeah, standard. Where's the, where's the stereo? Where's the stereo gone? <sighs> You would you could have cleaned that for the photograph. Is that just me? Seventy-seven thousand miles. Mm. No, not excited. Not excited by this eight twenty i. You can shout at me if you want. Uh, no, not interested. Not in. Oh, maybe I am. No, I'm not interested. Uh, Fiesta. We looked at that last time. I think. I think we looked at that last time. Oh, here we go. A Rover BRM. Has it got the red interior? Of course it will have if it's a proper BRM. Um, yes, yes, yeah. What's this say on the back? What's somebody got on the back here? Is it BRM Owners Club? East Sussex Motor Centre. Get that off. Oh, rock round there. Oh, dear. Um, oh, it's starting to go here, isn't it? This has been painted. Can you see? You can see where it's been painted here. Oh dear. That's not a very good job, is it? There's the red leather. Show me that bolster. Mm. Tactical. Tactically not showing me the bolster. <laughs> yeah, they cut it out. yeah, they've cut it out on this one as well. The bolster's going to be trashed. Um, I'd like one. Not one that's posh rotten. Just because of what they are. Last few, Ford Fiesta in a heat trim. That's quite cute, isn't it? 33,000 miles, but the price is not cute. Um, Rover again. Three and a half grand now. Um, and a Mini Cooper. I'm really uninspired tonight. Um, the best thing about um, this is this Daimler. Um, 
which I might make a phone call on. Watch this space. I want to know the number plate um, because I want to find out the history of this car because 2,115,000 miles is a lot, a lot of a lot of mo- miles in, in, in those years. Um, and it doesn't look like it's wearing 215,000 miles. So uh, I shall soon find out. Anyway, if you've liked the video, um, this was October's classic car hunting. We didn't really find much, did we? Nothing interesting, this Daimler, and, and, and that's about it. What would you have had? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. As I say, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. It's free to do so. It helps me and it helps the channel. And uh, if you are on the social media, uh, it's at John Coopland on the Twitter, at John Coopland on the Facebook, and obviously on YouTube as well. Uh, and you can follow me on Instagram too. Till next time, have a great Halloween. I'm, I'm sure you're not watching on Halloween night. I hope you had a great Halloween. And um, until then, uh, stay safe. Take care. Bye.